Well, this particular group of monks are from um, Sarajay Monastery, which is in South India. And when I found out that they're very skilled at creating sand mandala, I said, oh, could we do a sand mandala right here in the new arts building? And I pulled all the arts colleagues and they said, absolutely, that sounds great. Well, the program developed and it's largely been through the auspices of um, Greg Mahler, our academic dean. Greg went out and um, actually signed a formal agreement in the presence of His Holiness the Dalai Lama that's established this relationship. So now we essentially partner, in a sense, with Emory University. They do a program in the spring, we do one in the fall that are, that are somewhat similar. They're located in two places in Dharamsala. And the study is just is very focused on understanding Tibetan culture and Tibetan religion. So they'll be creating this over the course of the next few days, and then they're going to be appearing in a number of different having conversations in a number of different classes. And then it will culminate in two things, the Thursday night event right here in the Lingle Hall, where they'll do this presentation. And then Friday, there'll be a closing ceremony right here at noon when the image is sort of finalized and consecrated. And then the last thing they do is they sweep it all away. Because it's a demonstration of like, even things that are beautiful are impermanent. It's like an expression of Buddhist philosophy. So it will be, it will stay, everyone will admire it, and then it will, it will go.